Hello everyone, Yuki from NTOP, and I want to share a few reasons why you should use NTOP to design a heat exchanger. Let's dive right in. NTOP's core technology, including implicit modeling, field-driven design, and design automation, allows us to create advanced next-generation heat exchangers. With NTOP's implicit modeling, you can generate complex geometries in a matter of seconds. A commonly used TPMS in heat exchangers, the gyroid, can be pretty complex to create in CAD. But in NTOP, I can take any design space I want to fill and fill it with gyroids. And yes, what you see on the screen is happening in real time. In some heat exchangers, you need a way to separate the fluids. In NTOP, you can easily create baffles using Boolean operations to separate the two fluid domains. Now within this design workflow, there are many parameters you can change and optimize. The cell size, the wall thickness, the baffle thickness, and so on. Because you're working with implicits, you can easily change these values and quickly get a new design iteration. NTOP's advanced modeling capabilities powered by implicit modeling allow us to create complex geometries and make quick design changes. Create high-performing design driven by simulation data. You can run a static analysis in NTOP or import simulation data. With the simulation data, you can drive parameters such as the shell's thickness of the heat exchanger. You can thicken the shell in those high stress or pressure areas, increasing the structural integrity of the part. Automating manual steps of your design process can save you time, a lot of time. It can take a lot of time and effort to design a heat exchanger from start to finish. And maybe you'll need to design another similar heat exchanger for a different project later. You can pull out parameters you may want to change as you import a newly shaped heat exchanger. In this case, I have my custom block set up to take any design space and create a gyroid core with baffles. I can easily change the cell size, the gyroid wall thickness, and even the baffle thickness to adjust the shape of the core and meet my performance requirements. Speaking of performance requirements, with the design of our heat exchanger ready, you may want to validate it and ensure it fulfills our structural, thermal, and flow specifications. Using NTOP's meshing utilities, you can prepare your design for simulation and import it into third-party software to validate your results. I'm a huge fan of exporting my mesh to ANSYS Discovery to run a quick fluid analysis to ensure there are no dead zones. It allows me to check and return to NTOP for quick design changes. You can even take it further by setting up your mesh in NTOP and exporting it to ANSYS Fluent. Using our CFD boundary on FE mesh, you can label and export your meshes to set up your analysis in ANSYS Fluent easier and faster. Now let's go to manufacturing. Traditionally, you would have to generate an STL or a 3MF file. For such complex geometries, the meshing at the required tolerance level could take a while. With NTOP's implicit interop, you can export our designs to print without meshing. Implicit files are generated in seconds, they are compact, only a few megabytes in size, and because you don't need to mesh, there is no loss to geometric fidelity, so you don't need to worry about losing small detailed features on your part. This means that with NTOP, you can design far more complex and larger heat exchangers than before without worrying about exporting the part. Now there are many reasons to use NTOP to design a heat exchanger. NTOP's three core technologies, implicit modeling, field-driven design, and design process automation allows you to model and generate a complex heat exchanger quickly and reliably. Check the performance by running a fluid simulation or even a conjugate heat transfer analysis to ensure your design part is viable. Lastly, be able to print any complex part using our implicit interop. Export your part without meshing and get it to print faster without worrying about the complexity of the part. I hope you got a better understanding of how NTOP can help you design your next heat exchanger. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today. If NTOP can improve your design workflow, request a demo and talk to an NTOP expert. If you want to learn more about how you can design heat exchangers in NTOP, you should check out our guide at NTOP.com under Resources, Guides, and you'll find a guide called Heat Exchangers for Aerospace and Defense. Lastly, if you like this video and want to learn more about NTOP, Go to ntop.com under resources and videos. Check out our videos here.
Thank you.